Rainforests hum with life, a symphony of sounds that echo through the dense foliage. The air is thick with humidity, each breath a reminder of the vibrant ecosystem that thrives here. Vines tangle with ancient trees, creating a labyrinth of green that stretches as far as the eye can see. Sunlight struggles to reach the forest floor, casting dappled shadows that dance with the movement of the leaves. This vibrant world is both beautiful and dangerous, a delicate balance of life and death. Hidden amongst the lush greenery are creatures of incredible wonder, but danger lurks too, often unseen until it's too late. Venomous snakes, camouflaged predators, and poisonous plants all call the rainforest home, each playing a crucial role in this intricate web of life. It is a place of immense power and beauty, where the forces of nature are both awe-inspiring and humbling. It is a place that demands respect, where every step must be taken with caution and awareness. My heart pounded with each step, the thrill of exploration mingling with the ever-present sense of danger. The air was heavy, filled with the scent of damp earth and unknown blooms, a sensory overload that heightened my awareness. As a naturalist, I am drawn to the wild places on our planet, seeking to understand and document the wonders of the natural world. The rainforest, with its untamed beauty, held a special allure, a promise of discovery and adventure. But I knew the dangers too, the hidden threats that could turn a moment of wonder into one of peril. I had to be careful, each step a calculated risk in this unpredictable environment. Each step could lead me closer to incredible discovery or to hidden peril, a constant reminder of the delicate balance that defines the rainforest. The Green Mamba, a name that sends shivers down the spines of even the most seasoned explorers. This snake is not just another reptile, it is a symbol of the untamed wild, a creature that commands both respect and fear. This snake is a true denizen of the African rainforest, it thrives in the dense, humid environment, where the canopy above filters the sunlight into a mosaic of green shadows. Its scales shimmer with an emerald green, perfectly blending with the surrounding foliage. This natural camouflage is so effective that it can be nearly invisible to the untrained eye. This camouflage makes it a master of ambush. It can remain motionless for hours, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. It lies in wait, a silent, deadly hunter. Its patience is unmatched, and when it finally moves, it does so with lightning speed and precision. Meeting a green mamba in the wild is a heart-stopping experience. The sudden realization that you are in the presence of such a formidable predator can be overwhelming. Its slender body can reach lengths of over six feet. This impressive size allows it to navigate through the trees and underbrush with ease. The head is narrow, distinct from the neck and often held raised. This posture gives it a regal, almost menacing appearance. The eyes, with their round pupils, seem to hold an ancient intelligence. They are always alert, always watching, calculating every move. But the most striking feature is the color. That vibrant green is not just for show, it serves a critical purpose in its survival. That vibrant, almost luminous green is a warning sign. It tells potential predators and humans alike to stay away, to respect its space. It's a message from nature. This creature is dangerous, keep your distance. The green mamba is a marvel of evolution, a perfect blend of beauty and danger, a true testament to the wild. I had been tracking a troop of monkeys. Their calls echoed through the trees, leading me deeper into the rainforest. Focused on their movements, I didn't see the danger lurking nearby. A flash of green, a blur of movement. Before I could react, the snake struck. Its fangs, like tiny needles, pierced my skin. A burning sensation shot up my arm. Panic surged through me. I knew instantly what had happened. A green mamba. Its venom is among the fastest acting of all snakes. I had mere minutes to act. My heart pounded in my chest, a drumbeat of fear against the symphony of the rainforest. I had to stay calm. Panicking would only accelerate the venom's spread. I reached for my first aid kit, my hands trembling. The venom began to work its way through my system. A tingling sensation spread from the bite site. My vision blurred, breathing became labored, nausea rose in my throat. Each symptom was a stark reminder of the venom's potency. I knew I was in a race against time. I stumbled back, relying on instinct and years of jungle experience. The world around me seemed to spin. The vibrant greens and browns of the rainforest swirled together in a dizzying kaleidoscope. I had to find help. I needed to reach my team. They were my only hope. With every ounce of strength, I pushed forward, driven by a primal need to survive. 
In the heart of the rainforest, every second counts. Knowledge can be the difference between life and death. If bitten by a venomous snake, immediate action is crucial. First, try to identify the snake. This information is vital for medical professionals. If possible, take a picture from a safe distance. Next, call for help. Alert someone to your situation. Then, immobilize the bitten limb. Keep it still and below heart level. Apply a pressure immobilization bandage. This helps slow venom spread. Most importantly, stay calm. Panicking only speeds up your heart rate, circulating the venom faster. Remember, survival is possible with swift, informed action. The journey back to camp was a blur. Pain ripped through my arm. My vision swam. Each step was a testament to my will to live. I clung to the hope of seeing my team again, of receiving medical attention. The rainforest, once a place of wonder, had transformed into a menacing labyrinth. Through sheer determination, I stumbled back into camp. My colleagues, seeing my state, sprang into action. They had been worried when I didn't return on time. Now, their faces etched with concern, they swiftly administered first aid. A sense of relief washed over me, faint but tangible. I was no longer alone. I was in the hands of people who cared, who knew what to do. I was airlifted to a hospital in the nearest city. The whirring blades of the helicopter were a blur, a lifeline in the sky, racing against time to save me. The medical team worked diligently, administering anti-venom and providing supportive care. Their faces were a mix of concentration and determination, each action precise and purposeful. The hours blurred into days. Time seemed to stretch and compress, a surreal experience where the passage of time was marked only by the changing light outside my window. The pain was excruciating, a constant reminder of the ordeal. It was a searing, relentless agony that tested my endurance and willpower. But slowly, gradually, I began to recover. Each small victory, like sitting up or taking a few steps, felt monumental. The road to recovery was long, but each day brought new hope. My encounter with the green mamba was a stark reminder of the power of nature. Its vibrant green scales and swift, lethal strike were a testament to the raw, untamed force of the wild. It was a lesson learned the hard way, a brush with death that left an indelible mark. The experience etched itself into my memory, a constant reminder of life's fragility. But it also filled me with a profound respect for the delicate balance of life in the rainforest. Every creature, every plant played a role in this intricate web of life, each one vital to the ecosystem's health. I had survived thanks to quick thinking, the expertise of medical professionals, and a good dose of luck. Their swift actions and unwavering dedication were nothing short of miraculous. I was given a second chance, a chance to appreciate the fragility of life and the importance of protecting our natural world. This experience taught me to cherish every moment, to see the beauty in the everyday, and to advocate for the preservation of our planet's precious ecosystems. The green mamba is not a monster. It's a creature perfectly adapted to its environment. Like all snakes, it plays a crucial role in the rainforest ecosystem. They are not inherently aggressive. They strike out of self-defense or when hunting prey. Understanding their behavior is key to coexisting. Green mambas are shy and elusive. They prefer to avoid confrontation. Their venom, while deadly, is primarily used for hunting. They are not actively seeking to harm humans. By learning about their habits and respecting their space, we can minimize the risk of encountering these magnificent creatures. Venturing into the rainforest is a privilege. It's an opportunity to witness nature's grandeur firsthand. But it's crucial to remember that we are visitors in this realm. Respect for the environment and its inhabitants is paramount. A few simple precautions can significantly reduce the risk of encountering venomous creatures. Always wear protective clothing. Long pants tucked into boots, long sleeve shirts, and a hat provide a barrier against bites and stings. Make noise while you walk. Snakes are more likely to move away from vibrations. Stick to designated paths. Avoid venturing into dense undergrowth. And most importantly, be aware of your surroundings. Look where you step and reach. Remember, prevention is always better than cure. My experience with the green mamba was terrifying but it was also a profound learning experience. It ignited within me a deeper appreciation for the rainforest and its inhabitants. It underscored the importance of knowledge and preparedness. I emerged from the ordeal with a newfound respect for the power of nature and a determination to share my story. By understanding the risks and taking appropriate precautions, 
we can safely explore and appreciate these incredible ecosystems. Knowledge is our greatest defense against danger. It empowers us to coexist with even the most venomous creatures on our planet. Rainforests are the lungs of our planet. They are teeming with biodiversity, harboring countless species of plants and animals. Yet they are under threat from deforestation, habitat loss, and climate change. Protecting these precious ecosystems is not just about preserving biodiversity, it's about safeguarding our planet's future. Let my story serve as a reminder of the beauty and fragility of our natural world. Let us all strive to be more informed and responsible stewards of our planet. Support organizations working to protect rainforests. Reduce your carbon footprint. Educate yourself and others about the importance of conservation. Together, we can make a difference. Together, we can ensure that future generations inherit a world where both humans and green mambas can thrive.